Hey there, welcome back, it's Brittany. Welcome to uh, day 38 of the 100 day bracelet challenge. So today I am going to be making some um, sea glass bracelets with you guys. So I picked out a bunch of different stuff. Oh, my glue's in there. Um, and I, so you're like, this is probably, Brittany, what are you doing? This doesn't match. Don't worry, we're gonna make several different things. Um, so, I know I am, my goal is to only make one a day, but we can make more than that and I'll definitely wear them. Um, so some of the stuff I will actually have for sale in the future. Um, I'm not even going to try and do that sale before I move and I'm not even closing on the house till September. So um, I have a couple different things going on here and the first is the black with the gold and some pearls. I felt like there were enough pearls in here that I could do a ton of stuff. I got these with my um, gemstone haul and um, ooh, the sea foam kind of looks good with the black too. We might do something like that. Oh, that's pretty. Um, and then I was thinking the blue and these like purple blue crystals with, oh, these shells. I don't know. They, these also look really good with this now that I have these together. So that'll probably be a bracelet or two. And I liked the pink with the shell. Although I kind of really, or sorry, pink with the pearls. Although I really wanted like a big pearl in the middle of like a bunch of these. So I don't know. We'll see how it works out. And um, actually one, of, I have my beadboard. It's a little cleaner than last time. One of my uh, viewers gave me a great tip that I didn't think of before, which I should have, but thank you so much. I can't remember who gave it to me, but um, I used some packing tape to clean in here and it's not as dirty. I mean, it's still dirty. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There's still glue all over it and like stains and stuff, but there is no longer lint anywhere on this thing. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the first thing I want to try out, I think is going to be, now that it's caught my attention, this purple with the crystal. Ooh, look how pretty that is. It reminds me of like Ursula, purple and, and blue and stuff, and some aqua. So let me zoom in just a little bit because it doesn't look that great. And by zoom in, I mean just move my camera down. Okay, we'll move this over a little bit. And uh, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I think we'll do this one with a stretch bracelet because well, it depends on how it works out. This, these are not going to, I'm not going to be able to use stretch material with these. Um, actually last night I got up the gumption after a margarita to um, drill some pearls and I was successful, but then I broke my drill bit. So I have a new drill bit on order. That's actually a dry, diamond bit drill bit. So that should be here. God knows when, but it'll be here eventually. Um, as I've been talking, I came up with a great idea for this, this stuff. Um, I'm going to use a toggle. I think I have some toggles on my desk here. I do. I don't know if it has the toggle that I'm looking for. So I'm just sorry. I'm just going through a bunch of toggles that Emma sent me. No, I don't want to make it double strand. Oh, this heart's super cute. It's not a toggle. Um, well... Nope, I want to save that for something else. I don't think, I, I want it to be silver and I don't think I see any toggles in there so that I want to use on this one. I just saw toggles somewhere in my jewelry stuff. Guys, my apartment, as I'm packing, it's just a nightmare. Like, I don't want to put anything away because I want to have access to it all still, but at some point I'm going to need to start putting things away. Um... So I'm just trying to decide what kind of clasp I want on here. So I have these bamboo looking toggles. That's a possibility. Um, I also have these flower toggles. I wish I had some sea theme toggles. I don't even know if they make those. Mm, that's not the look I'm going for. Like I would love to have like a seahorse toggle or 
what else would I want? Um, a mermaid toggle. That would be amazing. I really want a mermaid toggle. Okay, and sea urchin toggle, maybe. This is pretty cool. I can make those toggles myself. Actually, I kind of like this. I kind of like this one. And it's a flower with a leaf. I could always make use a button. I do have a mermaid button. I have a seahorse button and I have a starfish button. Um, let's see. Guys, I'm sorry if you don't want to go through this process with me. You can fast forward. So this is really cute. Actually, this is a contender. This is a contender. Um, I also have... I think I have another... You know, I don't know if I have another um, mermaid one. I have a seahorse. So I feel bad because I really love this button, but I messed it up a little bit when I did my, um, my uh, mold of it but it's still pretty. Um, I swear I had a silver um, mermaid button, but I, I don't see it at the moment. So we might go with, we might, it depends on how this bracelet turns out. We might go with this guy actually. He's really pretty. But it's the only one I have <laughs> and it makes me sad to use it. Um, trying to think what color, I wanna use purple leather. I don't have purple leather, do I? So I do have some purple leather, but it's too thin, I think. It's um, one millimeter. Oh, that's cool. We gotta figure out how to do something with this. I have to keep changing my mind on how the bracelet's gonna look <laughs> as I'm, like, in, it's evolving. At first I was gonna use Wire, well, stretch cord, then wire, now the, the leather. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna wing it and I'm just gonna start. So let me find the end of my wire. And I need to find a uh, crimp, tu uh, crimp tube or crimp, uh, crimp bead. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I found a couple crimped beads. I don't know where my silver crimp beads are. These are gunmetal. Um, I'll, if I don't like it, I will cover these up with um, a uh, crimp cover. So I'm going to take my starfish. Oops, nope. We're gonna put the crimp tube, or crimp bead on first. Sorry, my nails are like so long. I need to cut those before I do another video. <laughs> Um, and then we'll just kind of, we'll go ahead and crimp this. I hate crimping on camera because first of all, there's a lot of stress when so many people are watching you crimp. And then, um, half the time these crimps aren't the best, so I end up redoing them anyway. I can't wait until I get some quality crimps, but I'm just trying not to buy anything until after I get in my house because I, I know I have a ton of stuff in my storage unit. And I just want to go through it all before I and make lists of what I actually need before I just buy stuff. So, okay, sorry. It would probably be better for you guys if I just did this off of camera, which might happen anyway. Okay. So, slide that in there. Sorry. Well, it looks like we're flat crimping this side because it just didn't work. It just didn't work well. I hate these crimp beads. I'm so sorry about that. But anyway, I just flat crimped it. Um, and then I'm going to cut off a length of wire. Just gonna make it long in case I need a long end. Okay. And then we're gonna go from there. So I'm going to start by just layering, not layering, but stringing a ton of these on the one side without the spacer beads between them. Oh, 
maybe I'll put one. Do we have a shorter, smaller, tinier bead? Um, this one. Okay. And I'm just going to string these on, so I'll speed that up for you. Okay, so we have the first part of our bracelet, which is just, um, and please ignore the tail over here for a minute, um, which is just a bunch of these uh, stick beads, stick um, sea glass beads, which I really like, up against that starfish. And then the rest of the bracelet, I'm just going to um, use, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use some of these and these, but I think we're just going to, Oh boy, this is toughy. Do I just want crystals? Because I, I, one of the things that I'm going to do with the black and the pearls is half black, half pearl. So if I did a theme of these bracelets where it's just half sea glass, half something else. Yeah, I think we're gonna take the blue out. I think I'm gonna use this blue on a different bracelet. Yay, I'm so excited. And then it'll be a good stacker. Okay. So let me cut open our crystals here. Sorry, some of you, I know you love the process, but some of you don't. <laughs> There's a lot of process in this video, <laughs> a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and string on some of these just to make sure that's the look I'm going for. We got these crystals at Cherry Tree, Cherry Tree, pretty sure. Pretty sure. All right, do I like how that looks? I love how that looks. So half the bracelet's gonna be these, and then half the bracelet, the rest of the bracelet will be that. And um, I'll add on, I have to find a silver ring to put on the side, and we'll be back. Okay, so I'm taking a toggle from, and I've done this a couple times, from um, one, or a loop from one of the toggle sets, sets that uh, Emma gave me, and I'm just going to cut off the uh, rings because I don't need those um, for this project. I could leave on this ring, but um, it's not in the center anymore. It's not in the center, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, and if you'd like, you can take um, a piece of sandpaper and sand that down a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to put on my crimp tube, crimp bead. I don't know why I keep saying crimp tubes. I, I don't have any crimp tubes. I might in my unit, but not in my apartment. And then I'm going to string on the loop, pull this down, and then come back down through a couple of my beads. I don't, I, I've mentioned this before, um, I don't come back down through the beads for security. I do it in case I mess up my bracelet and I need to take off my crimp tube <laughs> later on. Okay, oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. My friend posted on Facebook the other day asking for some uh, things to replace swear words because I guess her, her kid doesn't like it when she swears, which is fantastic. And uh, I always think, I was, I was telling her the ones that I say, and I say mother of pearl a lot, and I think it's because I make jewelry. <laughs> I say cheese and rice a lot too. What are some uh, things that you say when you're trying not to say the bad words? You've probably heard me say Mother of Pearl in a couple of these videos, actually, because I, I tend to want to cuss a lot when I'm making jewelry, <laughs> especially if things don't really turn out the way I would like them to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a little, make sure that this is coiled enough to where it's not too tight. Pull that taut, and then I'm just going to flat crimp. And I'll snip my wire. I never did feed my wire back down through some of the beads on that side, but 
Oh well. Oh well. Nothing we can do now. Okay. I mean, I guess I could try to get some of these, get this through some of the beads. Let's see if it works. If not, we could just cut it. I'd rather get it through at least one bead and then cut it. Sorry. Yeah, that's not working. So I'm just going to snip it. Make sure you don't snip your actual bracelet wire though. That would just ruin your day. That would ruin my day for sure. All right, so my bracelet is semi-finished. Um, the this hole is not for the starfish to go through. I am going to I'm going to use it to attach some charms. And and you guys have seen me make this bracelet a couple times now, but it's just such a cool um, way to make a bracelet that I'm doing it all the time. And then I'll make um, my closure out of my purple leather on that side too. Um, I have to find my barrel not tube so I'll be back okay so that took longer than I would like it to have taken all right so we're gonna go ahead and slip one end up uh, well I have about 16 inches of leather it's way too much but I always like to be safe than sorry I'm gonna slip it in um, to my ring here and um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna I'm not going to make it be doubled it's a little it's shorter on top so there's probably like five inches five or six inches on top and then the rest is on the bottom I'll put my barrel knot tube in the middle by the way Kelly from Kelly's beads does a lot better Kelly's bead boutique does a lot this a lot better than I ever will um, so then I'm going to take my bottom um, piece of leather the longer one I'm going to bring it up over the top and then start working from right to left and just wrap three times so one two three okay and then I'm going to take the rest of my tail and I'm going to slip it through the barrel knot uh, tube and then it comes out the other side I'll grab my tube slide that out and then we'll tighten it by moving sliding the knot over to our ring and there we go we have a barrel knot and I'm going to make another one after I tighten the oops I tightened it a little too quickly there um, and if you'd like you could put glue there but it's not needed uh, I'm gonna tighten that there I'm trying to decide I think it needs to be like this but I guess it doesn't really matter it's gonna slip around anyway and then I need to figure out how big of an opening I need and I'll put in my little star so he needs quite a big opening to get through there and then we're just going to do the exact same thing we just did to make the closure on this side. So I'll take my barrel knot tube, um, make sure that the, whoops, I'm going to move my star out of the way. I don't really need him here right now. Make sure that the shorter end is on the top again. Put the tube between the two take the bottom piece slowly pull it up over the top and I'm gonna wrap three times okay and then I'm just going to do the exact same thing I did before put it through the tube and you can do two wraps I liked how three looked for this one and I haven't actually done barrel knots with uh, on a closure for um, leather this thin so we're learning something new together so we just want to make sure that those are even not um, like if this one's longer it's gonna bow up like that so just pull it a little bit longer and then this one's a little harder to get to stay because it's gonna want to move up and down so I just want to make sure my opening is big enough to get my star through and it is and then you're just gonna put your thumbnail or your fingernail or your finger if you don't have nails um, right where you want your 
tube to B and you'll pull to tighten. Again, I'm going to move my starfish out of the way because he's making this way harder than it needs to be. And you just tight, keep tightening until it gets the way you want it to be and stops moving. There we go. There we go. And then I'm going to find some spacer beads. This is not completely done yet. I'm going to fix that. And um, put them on the ends of the here, tie them off, and our bracelet will be finished. I'll be right okay. back. Okay, so I found these beads in a little spacer bead soup that I had, um, and I'm going to slip that on to my leather, and I will just make a little knot a little bit further down. You don't have to do this, just adds a little bit of dimension to your bracelet. Um, I don't want it to be too long. There we go. I think that's cute. And you can tie another one here if you'd like, but I, I like it moving around a little bit. And we'll put the other one on. I'll grab my GS Hypo Cement and then cement these little knots so they don't become unraveled later on. Now we have to do the fun part still, which is choosing our charms to go on. Ugh, my glue is a hot mess. Look at this, it's disgusting. It's time to order a new one, I think. Been using the heck out of this one in the last few months. Okay. Just a teeny dabble do ya on your knot. Right above where you'll cut your leather. Is that the one I just glued? Okay. Yep. And there we go. Always make sure to close up the glue before you move on to another project because this glue likes to leak out everywhere. Okay, so I will cut my little ends. And you could finish your bracelet off like that, but I like charms a lot. So we will dig around in our charm bin. Sorry. There we go. Close that up. So the focal of this bracelet is really the clasp, and that's where I would wear that on my wrist at the top instead of underneath my wrist like I normally would with any class. So all right, let me go through my sea, sea themed bucket here. I've got a big bag of sea themed stuff. What do we want? I don't, I don't think I have anything with a mermaid on it. And my friend Julie was sending me pictures of her jewelry today and she was making a lot of stuff with mermaids. So I'm jealous. <laughs> um, let's see, oh, I've got these little, these are cute. Got a big bag of these guys. So we'll have one of these on the back. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. We'll have her on the back. I think maybe wire wrap one of these guys. And let's see if there's one other thing. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Instead of wire wrapping one of those. We'll wire wrap one of these. I think they have enough purple in them. Maybe not that one. They all have a different coating. So I'm trying to find one that looks good with this bracelet. I saw one earlier that felt more purple than the other. So this one's got a lot of purple on it. This one. Well, I don't know. How do I feel about that?
Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Thinking, thinking, I'm thinking. Nope, don't like it. Hate it. <laughs> um, I think what we're going to do is definitely use her. I want another something else that has um, more silver in it. And then I think... guy's got some purple that guy's got some purple oh that's beautiful I'll put that little pearl on there so I think I want to find um, like a clamshell or something charm in my charm bucket here or my seed bucket I'm calling it a bucket but it's just a big bag full of sea stuff um, let's see I know I have them because oh yeah Renee sent me one and I know I have others too. I have those strands that I used on that first sea glass bracelet I made on day 10, but I don't see this. I must not have put the strands back where they need to go because they're definitely not in this bag. But sorry for making so much noise with the bag, guys. Um, we will go. I have a couple different shell charms here. Let's see. Renee gave me these. I have this one. I like and I have this one which I also like which one do we think goes best here oh, there we go that's what we're gonna do okay I will find some jump rings and a head pin and I'll be back Okay, so I quickly wire wrapped with just a regular head pin the pearl and I grabbed three jump rings. And I'm just gonna twist them open and put on our charms. If I can find the opening to the jump ring. Here we go. Sorry, it's focusing on the bracelet. There we go. So the mermaid is double-sided, which is fantastic. I kind of want her facing towards the starfish. So we'll do like that. Sorry, I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't see around the camera. That one closed. There's our first charm. So cute. She's so cute. And um, now, usually I would want the pearl next to the clam. However, I liked how long she was between the two two shorter charms. So the pearl will go on that side, and then the clam will go towards the crystals. twisting open my jump ring and it looks like the clamp the clam is double-sided too oh okay it's literally double-sided like it looks the same print on both sides she changes which direction she's facing if you flip her over but the um, shell does not so we'll go ahead and put that on there Close it up. These are so awkward. Okay. I'm trying to do it on camera. <laughs> A little awkward. Okay. And then we'll do the same thing with the pearl. Open the jump ring. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this metallic um, leather came from Bracelet Street USA on Etsy. I have an unboxing. Oh my gosh, this pearl does not want to stay on the jump ring. I have an unboxing for Bracelet Street, maybe two, um, way back in my videos. Eventually, when my spending freeze is over, we'll 
go back and shop with them again because they were wonderful. Um, okay, so here's our first bracelet. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. I love the asymmetrical, um, qual uh, God, I can't talk today, asymmetrical um, value to it over here. Um, and then all of this going on. It's so cute. I can't wait to wear this bracelet. Now, I, I kind of would prefer chunkier beads on this side to um, accompany these bigger sticks, but I really, really liked these beads. So we're staying with it. Um, unless I ever get bigger, the same crystals, but bigger. I actually really, really, really love this bracelet. It's so funny because it's just the same color palette that I did with the first three days of this, the third day 30s over and over. I've done purple, blue, and silver. Well, maybe not all silver, but anyway, I'm trying to put the bracelet on. Um, okay, so I'll be back in a moment and we'll do bracelet number two. Okay, next I want to do the black bracelets um, with the pearls. These are a these have like a little pink tint to them. I'm seeing, I want to look through my pearl bag and see if I have any that aren't as pink. Um, so I tried on the mermaid bracelet and it's too big. <laughs> so the good thing is, I actually like these better. Um, the good thing is um, I w left that little bit of a strand and I can just crack open um, the this uh, crimp bead, take a bead or two off, and then restring without restringing the entire bracelet. So I will be doing that later. Um, so I have a couple ideas here for the black, um, and these will be a strong bracelet too because um, the, the holes, like I said, the holes in the pearls are too small and I don't have a drill right now. Um, just thinking about how I want to do this because I want to make two bracelets and I have too many ideas running through my brain. Let's see. I know I have more pearls somewhere in this house, but I'm not going to go looking for them. Okay, so I have some more small pearls here. Okay. Okay, what are we thinking here? All right, so let's just start cutting apart beads and we'll figure it out. I really want to use these square tiles. They're like glass heishi beads. All right, so I'm gonna grab some wire. Um, I'm actually gonna leave it on the spool this time because I don't need, I don't wanna cut it off and not have a stopper. So, let's try it. I'm gonna cut some of these. These came, these um, spacer beads came, sorry, from uh, Cherry Tree as well. I got them at the same time as I got the crystals from the last bracelet. All right, there are a couple things I wanna try here and I don't know which, uh, which way I'm gonna go. Do I like it? I love it. I love it. So, okay, I am, do I want this to be um, just a stretch bracelet by itself with just the black and the gold? I kind of do. Um, do I want it to be a stretch bracelet or do I want it to be a bracelet bracelet? <laughs> Strung bracelet. Let me see what, oh, this is cool. This is cool. This toggle is cool. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna use that toggle together. And we'll make a strung bracelet. I'm hoping if I need them, I have more of these, but I actually am not sure. So before I decide on this, um, I'm gonna root through my sea glass bag. So, oh yeah, I have some more, okay. Whew. Okay, all right, so I'll do warp speed <laughs> and we'll get this bracelet done in no time.
Okay, so I'm a little over halfway done, but I thought this would be such a cute earring if I wore earrings. So if you did that and um, secured it at the top with a crimp, oh my gosh, it'd be the cutest earring ever and so sparkly. Okay, so I've already um, attached the toggle on this side and I am going to attach the other side. I did a flat crimp again on this one because these crimp beads, just like the others that I used, are not the best quality and do not crimp well. So, um, and then I'll slide on the bar of my toggle. Go ahead and go back through the temp, the temp bead, the crimp bead. I've got glue on my fingers. And then um, I'll just go back down through a couple of these beads. The one thing that I'm not the, the, the biggest fan of strung bracelets is they have no wiggle room. Like they're either the right size or they're the wrong size. So you have to be super careful when you're making them that they fit your wrist. And I swear my wrist size changes daily and I'm not even, I'm not even exaggerating. So, um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and flat crimp that. And we just want to make sure when we do things like this that the bracelet is coiled because if it's straight and you pull it too tight, then your your bracelet's not going to curl around your wrist and it might snap. Okay, I'm going to pull it a little bit tighter because I think this is just a, a hair big. Okay, take my crimp be or crimpers and smush. You guys know I love saying smush. And um, I'll go ahead and trim my wire here. Okay, so here's our second bracelet and I am just loving it. It's gonna go with everything. I don't have a really nice black and uh, gold bracelet. I have a really nice black and silver bracelet. This one is beautiful. It's matte and shiny at the same time. Hopefully it fits. Watch, I'll put it on, it'll be too short. <laughs> Uh, uh, it looks like it's gonna fit. Ta-da! It's so beautiful. I love this bracelet and it's a great stacker or just a piece to go by itself. So, okay, so bracelet two is down. I wanna make another one out of black. So I'm gonna move this back in, move the camera back up. Um, I'm going to move the Hishi beads off to the side because I think I'm done with those for now. Looks like we're doing a lot of strung bracelets today because of the pearls. I keep saying because of the pearls and then <laughs> it's not really because of the pearls on any of these yet. But, um, okay, so I do I want to use these or do I want to use these? Hmm. So I don't know what I want to do with those yet. I'm going to do something with these. I'm going to try and pick out the bigger pearls. These are pretty uniform, but some of them are a little bigger. Bye. One bites the dust. Okay. All right. So these are the bigger ish ones. Put those there for now, and we can come back to this baggie if we need more. Let me see if I have a clasp that I like to go with these. I need a gold one. Well, I don't need a gold one, but I like black and gold better than black and silver with pearl. Um, I think we'll go with those. Sounds good to me. Um, I'm going to grab a crimp bead. A couple crimp beads. And 
Um, this one I'm actually going to start off with crimping one end. It's just sometimes that's easier. Okay, I have two ends of my wire going here. Okay, so um, I'm going to put on my crimpy. Toggle. And then come back through my crimp bead. Now this one, I don't, I just don't think it'll matter. It's not gonna matter. It's, it's, it's not gonna matter if it's flat crimped. I was going to do another one just to show you the, the regular way, but these honestly, I, and I can't say it enough. These are crappy, crappy crimp beads. I have no idea where I got them, but they're not nice like beetle on or anything. Sorry, I'm having a hard time doing this on camera because I'm trying to position the bead so you can see it, but also do it right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this and I'm just going to string. I am going to start with one gold spacer. Oh, that one's messed up. I'm going to do half the bracelet sorry this glue is driving me nuts on my fingers half the bracelet in pearls and then half the bracelet in black sea glass Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention. I'm not paying attention to what it looks like in the camera. Okay, this is what I have so far. Very pretty. And I'm just going to trim this after I slip it through one of these beads. Apparently my eyesight is not working today. There we go. Okay. Move these down. And here's our bracelet so far. Oh, I didn't get the tail through the spacer bead. That looks silly. Okay, so here's our beginning so far. Keep going with the pearls. Yeah, that should work. Okay. I think that's so pretty. I love pearls. I just love pearls so much. They're so elegant. They make me so happy. And I really haven't been using any for a while. I need to remedy that by using them more often. The cool thing is I have two other projects started that I started last night and um, they both involved pearls, so you will be seeing those soon. One of them I need to, my new drill bit to come, which even before you say anything, that does not include, is not included in my spending freeze because I just broke another, it's replacement for a drill bit I broke. And it's a tool, not, a, uh, not beads. Okay, so I wish I had six millimeter black glass because this, I don't know, it's okay. Ooh, I really like that actually. It's gonna be really cute. Okay, keep going. Okay, so here is what we have so far. So pretty. I'm going to measure it on my wrist instead of measure it on the ruler because sometimes the ruler just, it depends on the beads, it just doesn't look, it doesn't go well. All right, I think I'm gonna put one more black bead and one 
spacer. At the end. And I'm not sure. Okay, so that was too big. I took two um, per, uh, sea glass beads off. And this one, okay, oh, this one's damaged, so I'm going to actually take all of these off, take that one off, and then put three back on. Thankfully, I found it before I tied it off, or crimped it off, I should say. <laughs> my trash can over there all right and then we'll just slip this through our crimp bead I'll pull it down through a couple beads just to get some traction and pull it tight I love this bracelet. I don't. It's. I don't know why it's doing it for me. I just love, love, love black. Well, first of all, I love black and white, and I don't do that very often. And I love me some pearls. So, all right, we're gonna flick. Oh, no. Let's get this a little tighter here. Okay. Crimp. Okay. We'll trim our wire here. And here's bracelet number three. Oh. How simple it is, but it's so, it, this is a timeless bracelet. Um, I'm sure that these findings aren't gonna hold up, but these beads would um, for a very, very long time. So if you wanted to get like a gold or maybe gold filled, um, toggle something like this would last a very very long time I will not wear it very often so it should last quite a bit of time for me too oh my gosh I just love it it's so it's like really soft too because of the mat and the pearls it's kind of it's a little no it's, it's pretty good so see that pretty and anywhere you're you wear it it's gonna be pretty I actually would probably wear it like that so I can see the black and the pearls and then you can turn it around if you wanted the pearls on that side so with mixed with this bracelet it's actually really pretty so bracelet three down y'all up for another one if not that's fine you can stop watching here but we're gonna make at least one more bracelet oh, I'm so happy <laughs> I love the reveal at the end that we have like a bunch of bracelets left um, let's see what do I want to do next so probably tonight I will be um, fixing this by removing a couple of these beads so I can wear it whenever I want to. Uh, I'm going to put these pearls back in. This bracelet is like so lightweight and so fun to wear. It's such a good length too because it's not too tight. All right. Um, I wanted to do something with these pink beads. I also wanted to do something with these beads. I haven't done anything with these shells yet, which I had gotten out the um, aqua color to do. I did find this. Although I think I had something else planned for this. This came in a bargain bead box one month. It's very pretty in real life. It's um, very iridescent. I don't want to use that with that, but. What if I did a stretch bracelet? using these and this and these. I think that's a good idea. I 
have to find some gold. I think I actually might have some in my bucket here. Some gold spacers. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all over the place, but the one thing I can't do apparently is design a stretch bracelet. <laughs> Everything I keep designing doesn't work with my stretch cord. So this bracelet I just designed, um, these beads won't fit through stretch cord, or stretch cord won't fit through these beads. And then the idea I have for this bracelet, um, stretch cord won't fit through these beads twice. So both of those are going to have to be stranded as well. Um, I am going to spare you. I'm going to do um, this bracelet first and I'm going to do it at warp speed so you can see it put together but you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> and then um, we will move on to the bracelet that I have planned for this. Okay, we have our fourth bracelet. And now this one will be able to go with either one of these two that I'm wearing because I really love them so much, or the one I'm about to make. I don't know if you guys signed up for five bracelets when you signed on to this video, but that's what you're getting today. So I am in love with this. It is so, so pretty. I just love the simplicity. So these beads, the whole time I was making this bracelet, it reminded me of my grandparents' home. Um, they had like um, these glass block tiles as a window in their bathroom. And I always thought, you know, if I was in there, people could see me, but you couldn't because they were the glass block things that were wavy. But anyway, those remind me of them. And I just think this is so beautiful. And this would be, if I had, I might have to buy some big um, black, tiles I don't think I have them uh, sea glass tiles here and do a necklace like this because this is really pretty so you would just do I, I would buy the big ones um, that can, because these come in two different sizes but I don't have them and uh, do this up one side do this up the other side and you'd have a beautiful necklace I mean this looks like a mini necklace so anyway all right guys we'll move on to the next bracelet um, I want to do something that's close to this bracelet but with this as a focal and using these um, seafoam beads. Sorry, I hate these glass spacers. They drive me nuts. I'll never use these. I hate. I get so guilty feel it, throwing those out because I'm like, oh, what if you need them one day? Oh my God, I have trillions of beads. There's no way I'm going to need those beads one day. So anyway, here's our middle piece. Um, I think I have just enough of these to do what I want to do. I'm going to have to rebuy those once my spending's uh freezes over because those these are the most amazing spacers ever and they're so so pretty um, I'll cut open the second strand of the sea foam because I don't have enough left from the first strand hopefully I have enough just using two strands are you sick of hearing the word strand yet <laughs> uh, anyway um, and then uh, I'm going to, like I said, make it like this one, but just have this in the middle. So there's going to be extra crimping woohoo, <laughs> with this one. Um, but with this one, I'm going to use some crimp beads because I are crimp covers because I don't want to see the flat crimps in the middle of my bracelet. Um, so I'm going to grab some stringing wire. Let me grab it. And so mine is so un raveled right now that I'm like pulling feet up here Sorry, <laughs> hot mess express today um, okay I'll go ahead and cut a length of this um, and I'm going to grab a crimp bead I'm going to slide it on my wire okay and I'll grab my vocal yeah, just like it was the, as if it was a toggle. Okay, so we're going to do two extra crimps on this one versus just two crimps like I did on every other bracelet. And the, the toggles I'm using on this one, I think Emma gave me, they're just very simple. I like the simple simplicity of the gold ones because it really, it, it um, really uh, focuses on the beads and how simple those are as well. So I'm going to go ahead and regular crimp this. 
Ah, Crimp beads on the move. Okay. Sorry, my string isn't working. Okay. Not talking because I'm concentrating. <laughs> I am not the best crimper, especially with these silly, horrible quality crimp beads. Ah, there we go. Woohoo, we did it! I'm gonna grab my crimp uh, cover, put it over my crimp bead here. Oh gosh, okay, here we are. Just slightly squish. There we go. We have a pretty bead instead of an ugly squished crimp tube. All right, so I am, because I started with a crimp bead here, I don't need to start with the, one of these. I'm just going to start with my tile, um, and then I'm going to go down in uh, the pattern of sea glass tile, um, spacer, sea glass tile, until I get the halfway point, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm not quite finished with this side, so I just tied um, a bead stopper onto my cord. I don't have one of my bead stoppers out right now. I, they're over on my desk. So um, while I, I didn't want these to fall off while I started doing the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll measure and then we'll close off the bracelet. Okay, so here's the finished product. I'm glad I finally got my pearl as a focal <laughs> bracelet um, and I could not be happier with this bracelet it <laughs> once I finished it I said gosh that's pretty and it really really is it really is I'll show you guys um, all close-ups of all of them before um, I finish the video but geez I really like this one and the I just I can't get over how well all of these go together so I can stack those I can stack that with this this one that I'm still wearing. Um, so I think so far this, I, every single one of them has been my favorite so far. Um, and then, uh, you, so you guys are getting six for the price of one today because this is the last one I'm gonna do. I'm going to put some of these in the middle of some pearls. And it's gonna be simple, just like the rest of these were today. And I, do I want to do pink pearls? No, I wanna do the pink pearls, they look pretty. So the focal on this will be the sea glass and the pearls will be around the back. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab some more wire, do a few inches of pearls, and then I'll just do some sea glass and then I'll finish off with some pearls. And here you have it. So it's very dainty and it's just fun. I'm so happy. This is a happy bracelet. I did have a, some trouble stringing back down through some of the pearls, so I didn't do it on one side. It doesn't worry. Don't worry. It's not going to hurt the um, strength of the bracelet. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It reminds me of something that I would have had maybe when I was. Um, in like as a flower girl or something it's so adorable okay so <laughs> you guys definitely got your money's worth today we made uh six bracelets i didn't know that i had it in me today and can you believe it none of them were stretch bracelets <laughs> so here we go oh my gosh this one i think this one's my favorite even though i really really like the the starfish one because it doesn't fit yet <laughs> it's too big it's not my favorite I'm gonna go ahead and restring it or, or well fix it I don't know if I need to restring it right after I finish with you guys oh this one's my favorite for sure and then I'm wearing oh we have this one I put the same clasp on like three of the bracelets but that's okay because they actually like really go well together um, let me take off the ones I'm wearing too so you can see those Okay, and then we had this one, which is like my second favorite, I think. <gasps> I love all 
all of them. And this is cool. If you don't want to keep six bracelets, this is a great way to design um, a collection if you're if you're trying to sell your jewelry using the same beads. So not every so you don't have to make the same bracelet six times. So here are five bracelets. Of course, here's the odd man out, <laughs> but it's still really really pretty. Oh, it's actually really really pretty. So I'm so excited to. I I'm just I don't know if I'm gonna change out these beads altogether or if I'm just going to take two off I think I'm just gonna take two off but um, thank you so much for watching my craziness today and making six bracelets with me I'm like pumped shocked and I want to make more I actually am ready to make more but um, I thought I would cap the video this at this point should probably be two parts if it isn't or if I don't decide to put that put it that way so anyway have a fantastic rest of your day um, and Tell me what you think. Which one was your favorite? Uh, if you know anybody who would appreciate my channel, please share. Um, I really have a lot of fun talking to you guys, so please leave a comment and like and subscribe. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. Hi, Miss Goldie. You like having your tummy rubbed? Good morning. <laughs>